Hey guys, so it's me, Carrie Pink. I uh, wanted to give you guys an update on my desk as well as in my planner for this week. Um, actually, my planner and my layout. But um, here's an update of my desk. It's coming together so nicely, right? I added a cork board to the back and another word photo for my desk. I got these amazing jars at Target and I've actually stuck my stampers in there. Um, I got some more stampers from the Target dollar spot um, that I love and I love that they fit right here. I actually went back to Target today and I got some ink pads. Um, here I'm using my mail holder as a card holder. Um, thank you cards and note cards and notebooks and paper. Here's my cork board. You see I stuck up some really cool pretty things up there. Um, these are some stickers that I bought from Staples actually. I haven't used any yet but they're so cool. I think I'm going to use them for next week's layout. Um, everyone knew I bought the um, Target little pails from the watercolor collection and I used that for my external hard drive. So I stuck those in there with just the wires that match with them and I think that was such a, a cool idea. Um, notepads I just have lined up here. Three of them because you never know what kind of note you want to write. Uh, this is actually a piece of art that my daughter made and I'm using it as a coaster. You may have seen that on my desk before. It's been there for a while. Um, then I got the divided trays from Target. That's actually what this is too. Um, but I got the divided trays from Target and I'm using it for my um, mobile charger for my cell phone with the little cord for it that's in here. My hole puncher, some clips, ribbon, and I made these clips. These are from the Nate Burkitts collection, these jumbo paper clips. Um, and I made these ribbon clips the other night. I was so inspired um, that I wanted to do it. And I think it looks really good under my name art there. Um, this is another jar that I picked up at Target. I bought this yesterday. It's gold and I love it. I'm, there's nothing in there. But um, it's just sitting on my desk. This is a quirky, so it's a wire management and it's weighted so that the um, wires don't fall off of the table. So I love that so far. This other um, dollar spot watercolor collection, I'm just using this for random stuff. So there's change in there and some tickets to the train in France. <laughs> um, Cause I just came back from Europe. This I also picked up from Target, another divided tray, and I'm using it for paper clips, push pins, and my Kate Spade paper clips. I had some more ribbon clips in here, the small ones, but my daughter took them all, and the rest are in my planner. Um, this here are my Kiki K Oh Happy Day um, daily task list. Um, and I took these out and I cut them down a little because I'm going to stick these in my planner and I'll show you how I'm, I'm going to do that right now. So here is my Kiki K and you see she's getting pretty stuffed, right? Um, way more than what she was a couple of weeks ago when I got her. Um, if you see here, this is my Lottere. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation in French, but um, that's the keychain that I picked up while I was in France, um, while I was in Paris, and stuck it in my planner. Here are the rest of my clips, and I've done some really fun stuff. And then on the back, I got this pencil pouch in Target. I originally had it on the inside of the planner, but then it really wouldn't close well, so I stuck it on the back. So it has a, um, a uh, elastic where you can stick it in. And I don't use the notepad in the back of my planner, so it works out just fine, actually. So let's go on and open her up. Ta-da! 
So here you see the ribbon clips that I made. I've stuck them up here. This is where I used to have my Kate Spade um, paper clips, but I've, I've um, stuck these up there instead. And I saw, I showed you guys these page flags before. Um, I bought these while I was in London. Um, and so this is still the same. I mean, my post-its and, and my Kate Spade paper, paper clips are still here at the bottom. I'll have more things to fill in here at some point, I'm sure. Um, I don't think I have, the only thing I have in my zippered part right now is money, actually. My in case of emergency <laughs> dollars. Um, okay, so I added this plastic pouch to the front. Um, just for reference, it has, this is from Martha Stewart? No, or Avery? No, Martha Stewart. Yeah, these are Martha Stewart pouches. Um, so I actually had to make my own holes because the Martha Stewart holes don't line up with um, Kiki K. So I made my own holes. Um, and it made it fit. And it worked fine. So I have in here stickers. And then I also have some little note cards in because I may be somewhere and I need to write a note or I forgot a birthday card or something. Um, this is that Target gift bag that everyone loved. I got this idea from Pretty Pink Planner. Right? Pretty Pink Planner? Pretty Pink... Pretty Pink... Pretty Planner? Pretty Pink Planner. <laughs> I got this idea from her. She used it as a dashboard and so I did too. I got the bag. I cut it out, I laminated it. Um, she took the rhinestones off of hers, I didn't. So you see one stayed in place and one moved down, which I, is totally fine with me. Um, you see the glitter here, and I took the same idea that she had. I, I made new holes though, because my hole puncher couldn't reach down to the original holes. Um, and I made a little bow. Now, since I'm using this as my dashboard, when you flip it on the other side, I have some cool, I have um, a little checklist, today's list, and these are from Target, by the way, um, the watercolor collection, and then the page flags. Um, and I stuck these in here using the Kiki K adhesive dots, um, and that seemed to work really well. I don't know what's gonna happen when this needs to come off, but we'll figure out that at that time. Okay, so see here, this is how I stuck in my Oh Happy Day um, daily list because I use this every day and I usually keep it on my desk um, but if I have to go somewhere I mean I usually don't travel with my planner but if I needed to or if I just want to have it in my planner I mean I can stick it in here and just leave it on this page throughout the day uh, so next page you guys have seen this before the belief she believed so sh she could so she did I just added it to a divider instead of just having it plain because I didn't want it to get damaged and you see I just added one of my um, ribbon clips to the top which I made and then so in here I have just my goals um, for the year and then my contact info uh, my calendar is next I bought this clip from Target also it's a Swarovski crystal owl I have another one that's a peacock um, so this is just my monthly calendar in here I don't really write anything in there I usually write it in the weekly but I need to be able to see a month all at once so that's why that's like that then my folder here that I made I haven't put anything in there yet but I'm gonna use it eventually so this is where I stuck my Nate Berkus jumbo paper clip so I'm using it to clip all of the previous months together so that I can just go to the day slash week that we're in currently. Um, and this is the current, this is the week, last week's. Um, this Nate Berkus jumbo clip is so large that um, you can't use more than one. It really is too much for the planner. So this is last week's layout. It was black and white. I didn't do a video on it, um, but I had posted some pictures on Instagram. And this is this week's layout. I used those amazing stickers that I got the other day um, from my dollar store in my neighborhood. And also I used some of the stickers I brought from London and Paris. 
And then, so with the remainder of the, um, the gift bag from Target, on the sides it was like pink, so I cut that out and laminated it and used it as a page marker. Um, and I actually, you see, I cut that so that I can use it and stick it back in whenever I need to. Um, and I actually let my daughter decorate it with the stickers. And these are all the stickers I brought back from Paris and London. So you'll see there's like the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben and love letters and merry-go-rounds and all types of stuff, double-decker buses, the London Bridge, um, all types of things from London and Paris. So this will be my weekly page marker so I know I can turn right to it. Um, so this week I haven't really filled in with things to do yet, just the stickers and two things that I knew I had upcoming. Um, so then this section back here is my honor your calling section. So this is all about my entrepreneurial pursuit now that I am a full-time stay-at-home mompreneur. Um, this I got from a local store that was going out of business. It was attached to a little planter thing and I cut it apart and turned the pieces upside down and connected them together and made this and used it in my planner and I think that it works great. Um, and then here I added a travel section to my planner because I just came back from London and Paris. I'm also going to Milan in two weeks. So I needed some place where I could write down all the things that I'm going to do when I get to Milan and travel to Venice. Um, so that's what's in there. And then lastly, I have my good stuff section, which I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet, but whatever it is, it's going to be really good stuff. Um, and I just sort of made this little pocket on the other side to fit these um, post-it notes in and I used some washi tape around it. So that is my update for my planner and my desk. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely follow me on Instagram. I am new on Instagram as a planner. Um, my new Instagram page is I see pink planners with an S at the end. So I see pink planners. Um, definitely follow me and I will follow you. I actually have a great giveaway coming up this week. So stay tuned. It's going to include some things from the Target watercolor collection as well as some things that I brought back from London and Paris. Um, let me know what you guys want to see or what do you need. I'm willing to trade with people. Um, and I'm just excited. I'm excited to be a part of this community and to share with all of you guys. I hope you are enjoying my video so far. And I look forward to meeting some of you. Definitely like my photo. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe or leave a comment below and I'll do the same for you. Hope you guys are having a great week. Talk soon. Bye.